Guys, today we're remaking three classic Lunchables at home with better and fresher ingredients. Hey, I'm Laura from Mamables, and I began recreating Lunchables when my kids were little, and that's where mom Abbles came from. On this channel, I share lots of school lunch ideas and easy family meals that we enjoy. If you want more of that content, hit that red subscribe button. I share a couple of videos a week. Now, it's only fair that we start with the classic Lunchable. Oh, and I'm also gonna share with you all the tips and tricks of packing all of these lunches and keeping them fresh in the lunchbox until lunch. So not just what goes in them. To make the classic Lunchables at home, you're gonna need a bento container, doesn't matter which one, to keep ingredients separate. A really important thing is to make sure that your crackers are packed in a separate compartment, away from any deli meat and cheese. Up next, I'm gonna add some cheese slices right inside the large compartment in the bento box right here. And then next to the cheese, I'm gonna add some turkey or ham. And I'm just gonna slice up some cucumbers and then I'm gonna place them right in here. All of these ingredients have moisture, so I'm gonna place them all side by side. And I want some extra protein, so I'm gonna send a hard boiled egg. Now what's great is that at home, you can totally up the ante on the classic Lunchable because let's face it, one of these is never enough food, so you end up packing other things anyway. To finish off the lunch, we're gonna add some grapes in this other container. And then all you have to do is place a lid on the bento box and refrigerate it until you're ready to grab it. Then pack it in an insulated lunch bag along with that fruit, a drink, zip it up, and this lunch is ready to go. So that was a really simple one. But this next one, while it seems like a little challenge, the Lunchables nachos. Now I'm telling you, this can be done. Take a look. Processed food, never enough, we can do better. To make nachos, we're gonna use ready to go nacho cheese sauce. You can use a leftover cheese dip from the weekend or my homemade recipe, which I'll link below for you. Oh, I'm also gonna show you how to pack that so it stays hot. But first, Let's start by packing the chips in a separate container so they stay intact until lunch and they don't break into like a million pieces. But you also put a lid on these and set them on the side. In the main compartment, I'm gonna send some leftover chicken for protein. Next, I'm gonna place some black olives in a small lidded container. Essentially, I'm gonna deconstruct a real nacho trays into pieces for this lunch. And I'm gonna show you how to heat up the cheese. But first, let's finish off the lunch with some red bell peppers for veggies on the side. And I'm also gonna add some apple slices. Hey, if you have kids and you find packing lunches a struggle, make sure to download this free five minute lunchbox builder to build simple and quick lunches with ingredients that you already have on hand. Okay now, the cheese sauce. This is how it comes in the Lunchable nacho tray. And again, we can do better. I have leftover cheese dip that if I pack it like this in the lunch bag, it's gonna be cold. So what we want to do is heat it up in the microwave for about a minute so it's really nice and hot. And then I'm gonna pour it inside of a thermos container so it stays nice and hot until lunchtime. Seal it up quickly so it stays nice and hot inside and that cheese sauce is ready. In that same lunch bag, you can place the nacho bento ingredients and place the cheese sauce right on top, which is nice and hot in that thermos, along with the chips, and you just have to zip it up. Now that is way better than that nacho Lunchable. I've got one of my favorite Lunchable remakes coming up, the Taco Lunchable. But if you enjoy this type of videos, make sure to give them a thumbs up so I know to make more of these in my channel for you. One final Lunchable is this Taco's Lunchable. I tried to buy it, but it was either sold out or discontinued. So we're not sure about this, but this is what it looks like. Either way, tacos are always a winner for lunch. So let's make it in by grabbing a bento box and let's place a couple of soft flour tortillas in the large compartment right here. In this little container, I am gonna place some cherry tomatoes, but you could also place some salsa in there instead. Now, I love having these on hand. They're small lidded containers because they're easy to put wet ingredients in there, put the lid on top, and they don't get anything else soggy, and everything stays nice and wholesome until lunch. I'm gonna fill another one of these tiny containers with some shredded cheese, because tacos and cheese, and I'm also gonna place a lid on there, and all of that goes in the big compartment. I'm also putting some shredded lettuce right there for assembling the tacos, and that's gonna go in the lunchbox 
right here. This leftover taco meat is gonna go in the lunch container by itself and it'll be enjoyed at room temperature. But of course, if you wanna send that taco meat hot, go ahead and heat it up in the microwave and put it inside of a thermos container. Now remember to also send utensils with the lunch because they'll be really helpful. Now all you have to do is place it in the refrigerator and then when you're ready to pack it in the lunch box, go ahead and grab it, put an ice pack, then this taco lunchable and a drink, zip it up and this lunch is ready to go. Whoa, who knew that making homemade Lunchables was this easy? Make sure to tell me which one you want me to make next and watch this next video. See you next time.